are those trendy new drinking vinegars actually good for you? There's a trendy new drink popping up near kombucha in health food stores around the country, drinking vinegars. And while these tart and tangy drinks may sound a little strange, and a tad gag-inducing, they've been launched by some reputable players in the health food space such as Suja and Kevita. So we decided to test them out, and scrutinize their labels, to see if they're worth the dollar three plus a bottle. What's inside the bottle? First, it's important to know that not all vinegar-based drinks are the same. Some simply contain apple cider vinegar, water, some natural fruit juices, and maybe a bit of sugar, while others contain all that, plus the addition of probiotics. Both Suja's drinking vinegar and Kevita's apple cider vinegar tonic contain 4 billion colony-forming units of probiotic cultures, along with the calorie-free sweetener stevia. Suja's drinking vinegars run from 20 to 30 calories and 3 to 6 grams of sugar per 13.5 ounces bottle, while Kevita's contain 50 calories and 8 grams of sugar per 16 ounces bottle. With the popularity of these drinks growing, however, more companies are likely to launch vinegar-based drinks, and it's important to always read labels and watch out for excess sugar, says Jen McDaniel, registered dietitian and spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. The same thing happened when kombucha became wildly popular. The first brands to launch typically had around 2 to 4 grams of sugar per serving, while some of the newer more palate-pleasing varieties pack upwards of 20 grams. How do they taste? If you're a kombucha lover, that is you're into strong, tart, tangy, bitter flavors, or just looking for something a bit unconventional, you will probably love these. Many drinking vinegars come in fun fruit and herbal flavors, like Suja's strawberry balsamic, peach ginger, and lemon cayenne. They're also satisfying without being overly sweet. In fact, I found that the tartness seemed to enhance the natural flavors of the drink. Some drinking vinegars, like Kevita, are slightly fizzy, while others, like Suja, are flat. I found both to be tasty and very drinkable, so it's just a matter of personal preference. Should you drink them? While there is potential harm in drinking straight vinegar, the acidity can cause burns or irritation to the throat and harm tooth enamel, these drinks are diluted and don't carry the same risks, says McDaniel. And while they're not a magic elixir, there's some evidence that consuming vinegar in one form or another may offer health benefits. For one, researchers have found modest improvements in weight loss when vinegar is included in the diet, says McDaniel. But you should consider it something that could complement an otherwise healthy diet, not a miracle mixture. Additionally, vinegar has been shown to slightly reduce the rise in blood sugars after eating carbohydrates, which has perks beyond subtly reducing future carb cravings. When vinegar is combined with carbohydrate rich foods, the vinegar appears to inhibit the complete digestion of the starch, says McDaniel. These starches then act as prebiotics which become food for the good bacteria in the gut, supporting overall immunity and digestion. And given this prebiotic effect, it makes sense that a drinking vinegar brand that also contains probiotics could further support a healthy microbiome. Consider making your own. While splurging on the occasionally pricey bottled drink is okay, making your own drinking vinegar is easy and much more wallet-friendly. According to McDaniel, Simply combine one tablespoon of raw apple cider vinegar, like Bragg's, in one to two cups water along with a splash of your favorite fruit juice.